A second chance. Anna did not sleep all night. She was excited. Early in the morning her father called her. Come on Anna. It's time to get up. It's a long way to the station. Anna quickly got dressed and was ready, but she didn't eat breakfast because she was nervous about going to see her aunt in Nigeria. First time riding a train by myself Anna and her father left the village and started to walk to the station. It was a long way but they made it to the station by noon. Soon, the train arrived. It was almost empty. Anna got on, scared because it was her first trip away from home. Your aunt will meet you at Naira. Anna's father warned her not to talk to anyone she didn't know. The train started quickly and suddenly Anna watched her father get smaller and smaller until he was gone. The train ride was very long and Anna looked out the window and saw fields, trees, villages, and animals moving quickly by. After a long time, she started to feel sleepy and tired. Slowly, she fell asleep. When Anna woke up, it was dark outside, and she felt small and lost. She was far from her village and her father. There was a man in the carriage with her who had a bad face and was big and strong. His hair was short, and he looked bad and dangerous. The man smiled at Anna and said, Hello, are you awake now? He then asked, Where are you going? Anna remembered her father's words. Are you going to Polona? The man asked. Anna was surprised when he said no to Naira. Naira, she replied. But we passed Naira two hours ago. You were asleep. Anna wanted to cry, but she sat very still. It was warm in the car, but Anna felt cold. We've passed Naira, the man replied. Yes. Anna thought of the trip back to Naira. How much did it cost? She didn't have any money. She thought of her aunt at Na Anna asked, What is your name? I replied, My name is Sam, and the man said, You can trust me, Anna. Anna looked at Sam again. He was very ugly and had a long scar on his face. He seemed dangerous but also nice. Anna didn't know if he was good or bad. The train started to slow down, and Sam got up and looked out the window. Anna saw a newspaper on Sam's seat. On the back page, there was a picture of Sam. Above the picture, there was a headline. This man is a dangerous fighter. Anna was sure that Sam was a bad person and a danger. He was a criminal. Anna needed to be careful and get away from him quickly. Sam left the window and said, Stay with me, I'll help you. The train stopped, and Anna jumped up and ran to the door. She wanted to run away, but the door was too heavy for her to open. Sam was standing behind her and said, I'll open it. At the station exit, Anna was asked where her ticket was. The ticket was for Naira, but she passed it while sleeping. I don't have any money, I'll pay Sai. 
Anna wanted to leave, but was afraid of Sam. She was also tired and lost. Polona was a big town, and Anna didn't know anyone there. Sam called a taxi and told the driver to get in. Anna got into the Boxer Hotel, and Sam told the driver that the taxi went a long way. Polona's streets were wide and busy, with lots of cars, shops, and people. The taxi then turned into a small, dark street and stopped. Sarah looked up and down the street and said, Come on, to Sam as he got out of the taxi. And couldn't get away because she was weak and slow. She followed Sam into the hotel. The hotel had a cafeteria that didn't look very clean. Two men were drinking and playing cards when they saw Sam. One of them said, Hey, Sammy. Come have a drink with us. Who's the pretty girl? A man named Sam took off his coat and sat down. He said, Hello, Tino. Hello, Bubs. This is Anna. She's lost. The men looked at Anna and laughed. Lost is she? And is so poor, Tino. You're lucky. Sam, grab a drink. Anna took a seat in the chair Sam gave her and looked at the men. There were no front teeth on Tino's babies but they looked tough. The men were drinking. Tino gave Anna a glass and said, Come on, Anna, drink some wine. Anna pushed the glass away because she thought, I can't eat or drink anything. These men will give me a drug, and then I'll fall asleep. When Sam told the waiter to bring dinner, he meant good, hot food. When the waiter arrived with the food, he put some on a plate for Anna and gave it to her. It looked good and smelled great. Anna forgot about drugs and started to eat. She ate quickly and finished everything. When she put down her spoon, the men looked at her and laughed. Anna was scared again. He took her arm and locked her door, telling her, Come on, you're tired, you need to go to bed. Tino laughed when Sam told him, Good night, Anna. There are bad men in Polona. You need to keep her safe. Sam then took Anna upstairs and into a bedroom, where her heart was beating fast. Anna told Sam, Don't worry, you're safe here. Sam smiled and told her, Don't worry. Anna didn't say anything else. Sam seemed nice but she remembered from the newspaper that Sam was dangerous and so did his friends. She had to get away. After leaving the room, Sam locked the door and went downstairs. Anna sat on the bed and cried. Downstairs, the men drank and played cards. Anna heard their laughter and fell asleep after a long time. Anna got up late and saw that the sun was shining. She looked out the window and saw a waiter sitting outside in the street, smoking a cigarette and reading a newspaper. Anna looked around the dirty room and saw that there was old paper on the floor and a small table with some things on it. Anna
Anna had an idea when she saw a bro on the table and picked up a piece of paper from the floor. She wrote, Please help me, I want to go to Nair. Anna, she threw the note out the window. The waiter caught it and read it. He looked up and saw her, smiled, and then walked into the hotel. Someone unlocked the door to Anna's room, and when the waiter came in, there was someone on the stairs behind him. Anna thought, he's brought a policeman, and ran up to him. It was Sam, holding her note and saying, good afternoon. Anna told Sam, you must be hungry after staying up so late. Come get some food, we're leaving soon. The waiter smiled at Sam, and Anna knew that the waiter wasn't trying to help her because he was friends with Sam. Alex heard voices when she went outside into the street with Sam. Sam was talking to a man. What were they going to do? Sam went back inside and told Anna, let's go. He pointed out a taxi waiting outside, and Anna and Sam got in. Where are we going? Anna asked. Sam looked at her and said, I have to take you to your aunt first. Later, he said, I have an important job to do. Sam smiled, which made his face look very ugly. Soon, the taxi stopped, and Anna and Sam got out. They were outside a big building, and there was a sign that said, Dangerous Fighter. Anna understood that Sam was a boxer. Sam wasn't a bad guy. Anna followed Sam into the building. It was a huge hall with seats on all sides and a boxing ring in the middle. Tino and Bubs were waiting for them, and Anna told Sam, Stay here. Tino and Bubs will take care of you. Sir, I have to go now. Tino and Bubs wished Sam luck. Sam said, Boobs, Tino said, Yuk win all right. She smiled at Sam for the first time and told him good luck. Anna was led by Tino and Bubs to a seat next to the ring. Tino sat on one side of her, and Bub sat on the other. Anna sat quietly and waited, while the two men talked excitedly. Tino said, Sam is going to win. Of course he will, said the babies. Hune's the best fighter in the country, Anna heard. Sam was famous and everyone wants him to win, Tino said. Everyone likes him, Bubs agreed. One person who knows Sam said that one night while he was sleeping in bed, he heard shouts in the street and went outside to see a house on fire. He ran outside and found a child in the house on fire. He went inside and saved the child, but he was badly hurt, his face was burned and he got a bad scar, poor Sam said, that's why he's so ugly. They both laughed. Anna was quietly listening. She now understood everything. She felt safe with Sam and felt bad for him. She asked Tino, are you sure the fight is going to start soon? Tino replied, of course. The hall was packed with people, and boys were selling candy and cigarettes. 
Everyone was joking and laughing, and the referee was waiting in the ring. The crowd was thrilled. Now Sam, Sam, we want Sam, they yelled. Sam walked into the ring wearing shorts and big boxing gloves. He put both hands up in the air, and the crowd cheered. Sam, Sam, they yelled, and the other fighter jumped into the ring. He was big and strong. Here comes Danny told Tino that he's a great fighter. Anna was scared. But she told her, don't worry. The referee called Sam and Danny to the middle of the ring and spoke to them quietly for a few seconds. Sam and Danny then shook hands. The two fighters went back to their corners and waited for the bell to ring. The fight began. Danny was younger than Sam but he was a good fighter who moved quickly and tried to hit Sam, but Sam always jumped away. Sam had long arms and moved quickly. He hit Dan hard a lot of times. Anna was very excited and had her hands on the seat tight. The fight went on for a long time. Sam moved quickly and hit Danny a lot, but Danny didn't fall. Sam was tired, so he moved more slowly. Anna was scared that the crowd would yell, GW Sam. Sam Anna yelled at Sam Tino and Bubs were also yelling, Sam, come on, Sam, watch out. Danny hit Sam hard in the face, and blood came out of his nose and one eye was almost shut. But Sam didn't stop. He ran forward and hit Danny with all his strength. As the referee began to count to one, Danny fell to the ground and lay still. Two, three, four, Danny didn't move. Five, six, seven, Dan tried to get up, but couldn't. Eight, nine, ten, Danny did not move. The fight was over. Sam had won, and Anna was laughing and clapping. Good job, Sam. It was loud, but no one heard her. Everyone was yelling, Sam, Sam. Sam, and went to the dressing room with Tino and Bubs. Sam was taking a break. Hello, Sam said to Anna. You were great. Sam was shocked and Anna said, Hello, you're different. You didn't talk to me before. Anna said, Sam. I'm sorry. Yes, I was scared. Sam teen big and ugly, and so were you. But I'm not a criminal, Anna teen sorry Sam. Again, Anna said, I was wrong. I'm not scared now. Sam was happy. Anna said goodbye to Tino and the babies and got into a taxi with Sam. The ride to Naira was long, and Anna asked Sam a lot of questions. They talked and talked until they got there at night, when it was dark. Sam knew Naira well and quickly found Anna's aunt's house. When they knocked on the door, Anna's aunt was standing in the doorway crying and saying, Oh, Anna, Anna, thank God you are here at last. Aunt Anna told me not to be mad. This is Sam. I fell asleep on the train as it went by Naira Station. Sam woke me up and helped me get to a hotel. 
He then took a taxi back to Naira Station. Sam was looked at again by Anna's aunt. She said she ran inside and came back with a newspaper. Sam's picture was on the back page. Are you Sam? The boxer, yes, am, he answered. Anna's aunt was happy that Sam was well known. She said, Sam, please sit down. Would you like some tea? Anna sat with her aunt and Sam in the room, but she didn't say anything because she was so happy. Anna's aunt asked Sam a lot of questions, and she liked him. It was getting late, so Anna told Sam, Can I come see you again? Sam said, Yes, and Anna smiled at him.